I'm James. I'm one. And these, these are, are the last, last 20, 20 days. days. May, every single day we will be vlogging about something, whatever it may be. I think today's vlog is going to be the list of things that we want to do in these last 20 days. A list of the 21 things we want to be doing in the last 20 days. Is that, no, that's a, that's a good number. 21 things in the last 20 days. Okay. Number one, what's, what's something reasonable that you can do every day for the next 20 days. Dance until the world ends. Dance once a day for 20 days. For at least 20 seconds. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And we feel fine. For the next 20 days or so. Spend $20 on something for yourself. What can these items be? Food? Clothing. Um, clothing. Um, Art. Entertainment. Art supplies. Art supplies. Sex, but I don't know what kind of sex you're getting for $20. Timeshare. Timeshare. What kind of timeshare can we get for $20? <laughs> this like, room. Um... Twenty dollars. I think I can get a, a bar stool in Rhode Island. Number three. Three. Have sex. For at least twenty minutes. <laughs> it has to be. If it isn't, then you should be having better sex to begin with. Quite frankly. Get laid. Sounds good. Number four. Read for at least twenty minutes a day. Right. 20 words or 20 minutes, whichever comes first. Make if I have a busy day, I'll write, like, yeah. It's sort of like write something every day. And I'm using this journal because it has more space in it. So this journal, because I have another one, the red one. This will document 20 days left. Tomorrow, there will only be 19 days left, but these are the last 20 days, apparently. Thanks to Hero Camping! He's 89 years old, and he My sounds man. like this. He's like, he's got the most annoying, he's got a very deep, scary voice. He kind of scares me. But at the same time, I mean, if he's right... He's right this time. But, however, he did predict the world was going to end years ago. 1994 was his first apocalyptic prediction. And we're still here. I don't make out this time. 20 of these bands saying, Have you heard the awesome news? The end of the world is almost here. The Bible guarantees it. And it has 2012 up in the corner. It's crossed out. It says, it begins on May 21st, 2011. This is all thanks to FamilyRadio.com, all headed by, of course, Harold Camping. There will be a gigantic earthquake, and the dead will come back to life. And Jesus will come down and go, you and you and you and you, you're coming with me, the rest of you stay here. Okay? Chill. All right, just chill. And then, on October 21st, 2011. Dead bodies! Everywhere. Covered. The earth will just be covered with dead bodies. Dead body carpet. Spend our last 20 days becoming the best Persian rugs of this earth that we can. Persian rugs? We're gonna cover the world with our dead bodies. May 22nd. Party at my place. Y'all are invited. Okay. Number six. We need number six. Make a list of your 20 favorite songs. And play them. Or sing them. Offend 20 people. Offend. Well, people. if you run family church, ra no, family radio, yes, family radio, and you're watching this video right now, 
and sharing it with all of your family radio friends, then Absolutely. there, we have offended 20 people. You're helping us with our goal. Offend 20 people equals family radio. I don't know about that one. Offend 20 people. Yeah, offend 20 people. No. Compliment 20 people. Yeah. No, leave them both on. Okay, well. Offend 20 people and compliment 20 people. They don't have to be the same people, but they can be. Dry ramen. Maybe in the end, that's all we'll be left with is ramen. Ramen famine. Maybe that's what we're awaiting. Really May twenty first and the ramen famine. Number one, dance once a day for twenty seconds at least. Zumba every Tuesday. You just say nice shirt. No. But you can say nice shirt. And now as we munch ramen, we wait for your ideas and the rest of ours. So, if you have any ideas of what else we can be doing these last 20 days, other than repenting and thinking that this crazy guy is right, I don't know. What could we be doing? Taking up yoga? So we live in Pittsburgh, so I say sex on the incline. <laughs>